I work at home, I edit video. If I don't actively seek out ways to be active, I'm just not going to be. So, here we are. Five miles, 10,000 steps so far. Just takes a while. And hey, someone joined me. What's your name? Who? Are you gonna do 20,000 steps? No. Maybe oh. total. 20,000 is... steps a month for a month. I'm kind of hungry. Do you think this walk will give me a cheeseburger? See? Told you I'd get there. We just said hi to a neighbor. How are you? And he said, pretty f***ing good. How about you? <laughs> I weighed myself this morning. I weighed 177 pounds. Thought it'd be nice to take a nice little walk down this path, but it's Goose Poop Central. No more shade, no more shade, no more shade. Okay, shade, shade. Ah, uh, close enough, I'll get the rest later. Got about 22,000 steps and I'm very, very tired. Uh, I actually gained weight, I'm at 178 now. Seems like that's pretty common. When you start a new exercise, your muscles tear, causes inflammation, it causes your body to hold more water. What a nice f***ing walk. This walk is so f***ing nice. Look how f***ing nice that f***ing downtown looks. It looks so f***ing nice. F***ing goose. There's that building that I saw from across the lake. The sequel to Led Zeppelin. Hey, who's that? How was your walk? Short. Very hot weather. And that is fun. <laughs> Put sunscreen on my bald spot. I was reminded the hard way that I need to do that. A plum done it again. Four hours of walking really cuts into your day, doesn't it? The morning is the best because it's not so hot yet. Here's what I decided I'm gonna do to cope with that. Suffer. Gained another pound. Maybe I'm eating too much because I'm getting hungrier because I'm walking, that's a danger. You geese on my second walking session. Feels good though. I always enjoy it, even in this extreme heat. Probably because of years of sitting in a basement editing video. Okay, running the last 4,000. Ah, I did it. Spent the morning editing. I enjoy the f out of walking. I think when your job involves things that are unclear, open ended, there's no plan except the plan you make. It's just intriguing to do something that requires no thought. Finding bike paths I didn't know existed. China brought me banana pudding. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. 7 p.m. and I got a thousand steps left. So here we are, walking around inside. I guess I could go back outside. Maybe I will. I did. And done. Even when I take like three and a half or four more hours just to walk every day, I am able to fit in everything I need to do. Makes me think of Parkinson's law. Work expands to fill the time allotted. I have less time to do the work I need to get done, so I just do it more efficiently. Less sitting around thinking like, is that good? Should I change that? Whenever I use, I don't have time as an excuse for something, it usually just means I don't want to do it. Because it seems like I can almost always find time. F you, geese. Hi, ducks. I love you. It's 5 p.m. and I only got 5,000 steps. Gah! Geese! You see how sharp their beaks are? I'm going the other way. Geese have every right to be on that path just as much as I do. I respect their autonomy and I'm pissed. And I'm glad I brought an apple. China's at a school board meeting tonight. So I can't leave the home unless I want to be a very bad parent. Boom. I'm using this screen to shoot video of this screen while looking at this screen, measuring my walking while watching this screen, Ronnie Chang stand-ups, and this screen where my baby is sleeping. Behind me is that screen. I am ashamed of myself. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna walk past the geese. Oh man, it's geese with children. They look aggressive, I'm not gonna do it. If there weren't children involved. Hey, this person's joining me today. What is your name? Mom? Mom or Nama or Mary. Well, I didn't ask for your life story. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What do you do for a living? Oh, I walk for hours. Try to have funny interactions with geese. Just finishing up the last several in my office. Boom. Tomorrow's a travel day. That should be interesting. Eight hours of driving today. It's gonna be a lot of walking around parking lots. Earlier in the car, my daughter told me she was just gonna fart and pretend she was pooping. My lovely wife just pointed out. Goose eggs, the enemy. This Walmart has my dream product. 
Bud Light Seltzer cowboy hat. 6.30 p.m. and I have about 6,600 steps. Yeah, you're real screwed. Sitting for 100 years in a car does not make you want to just get up and walk for a while. No, because it's exhausting. Why is it so exhausting just sitting there? I'm gonna be walking downtown Owensboro for a while. Bridge to get into Owensboro over the mighty Ohio River. Beautiful. You know what's good about this place so far? No geese. Now, I was planning on just kind of circling the downtown, but there are people at restaurants sitting outside, and I don't want to be the guy who keeps doing the rounds, you know? And now there's someone walking right there, and he saw me say, do the rounds. And he's like, what does he mean by do the rounds? Doing the murder? America. Oh, wait, wait, where do we live? I don't remember. Oh, America. Hang on a second. Where do we live? Oh, America. 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 Check it out. The Bellagio. You know, after all this walking, I feel pretty thrivent right now, I have to say. I also feel pretty construction services right now. Whoa! Their fire hydrants are yellow! Look! The fire hydrants here are yellow! This place is starting to freak me out! As it gets later, it gets more empty and it feels weirder. So it's been a half hour, America, and I've gone about 4,000 steps, America, and so that means I have about an hour, America, of walking left, America. An hour in this downtown America where it seems like everyone is abandoning it now, America. All right, now I'm just walking on a busy street that's in no way sponsored by Dairy Queen. I feel safer here, because if I get mugged, at least someone will drive by and get it on TikTok. Genuinely want this to be over. I'm tired. It's been a long day. 18,000 steps, almost there, America. Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bath after this. Ugh. We're lost in the woods? We're lost in the woods? Yes. Down here. Okay. <laughs> Bye, family and friends. I'm not gonna be with you because of this stupid experiment that I've just decided to do. Bye, we're gonna enjoy riding in this nice air-conditioned vehicle. A bit easier to do it throughout the day as opposed to at the end of the day after all that driving. Thinking about skipping a day. Nope, back at it again. So in Wisconsin, there's this grocery store near us. They have this snack, a Korean snack, and it is my favorite snack. But they kept being out of it for so long. And now here walking around, I came across an Asian grocery store. I went inside, I looked over the shelves, the snack shelves. It wasn't there. So this is a sad story. And then I went up to the register and there it was next to the register. Happy story. It's like a crispy noodle, spicy and savory and sweet and so good. Oh, never would have found it had I just been going from point A to point B in my car. Thank you, walking. I've eaten way too much of these. Yep, 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 yep. This is a compelling outside in a storm shot. I should be a cinematographer. And it's definitely starting to rain. The rain is really throwing a wrench in my operation, but I am catching up on my Seinfeld. So I have 10,000 steps. It takes 35 steps to go around this circle. I have to go around about 300 times. It stopped raining. Today was hard. I was unaware that this statue was in Owensboro, Kentucky. Put some clothes on him. It's disgusting. I talk a lot on this channel about how it's good to bust your cycle, get out of your comfort zone. This is the most cycle busting thing I think I've ever done. It has taken over my life. I started paying more attention to my calories. I'm down to 175 now. And generally, I, I kind of feel great. Update. Bing! Today's our last day here. Therefore, had to stock up. Pow! Back home, just 14,000 steps to go. So I'm gonna be walking for a few hours. I'm actually kind of craving it. Kind of enjoyed this two hours of walking. It was, it was nice, I liked it. Bada bing. Rain can't stop me. I have hood technology, boom! And then my credit cards fell out of my phone wallet. No more quick movements. I'm on my way to the grocery store. Some people drive to the grocery store. Suckers, not me, I walk. I'm awesome. So cool. Boom! And now I'm very dizzy. About 550 to go, 510 to go, 23 left, update, update, one left. See it? I don't think I'm gonna make it tonight, guys.
Carry me to bed, China. Okay. Right. Climb Fail. on. Fail. Okay, I want to talk for a bit about weight loss. Initially, this video was not going to be about weight loss at all. There are so many factors that go into weight loss, and I can't really point my finger to one thing ever and say, this is the solution. Also, weight loss should not be the only goal or maybe even the goal at all when it comes to health. But currently, I do care about weight loss. I've lost five pounds. Now, people say that like fad diets, usually not sustainable, especially if it's something ridiculous, like trying to walk for hours and hours every day. And that might be true, but I'm just gonna tell you what I'm doing. Currently, I'm using Lose It, which is not sponsoring this at all, but I really like it. Since I wasn't losing weight, I started paying attention to my calories and I started logging every single thing I was eating and the app will measure my exercise throughout the day. And once I meet a certain threshold, it starts to add calories that I can eat that day. And I've just been following that and not surpassing my calorie limit. And it has worked better than anything I've ever done. If I do the hours of walking, it's very easy to meet my calorie goals because I can eat a little more. And it's better than running because when I run, I get more ravenously hungry than when I'm walking. So if you wanna lose weight, at least for a time, I recommend walking a ton. Track your calories with an app that in easily incorporates the exercise and try to eat things that'll make you feel full longer. Fruits, vegetables, protein, fiber. I know there's some anti-fruit people out there, but I'm not one of them. And there are some geese on this path. It's like Brachiosaurus is sticking up in the trees in Jurassic Park, although they're off the path now. Think I can get around them? Oh, they have babies looking right at me, making noises. Do you hear that? It made noises, it hissed at me. I am so afraid of geese. I did it! I got a walking companion again. Who? Someone joined me. What's your name? Who? That's how I like my geese, from a distance. Bunnies, 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 bunnies. I'm not quite as afraid of bunnies. Hey bunnies, oh bunnies. They're afraid of me though. ka -ching. Wow, exactly. Today was kind of a hard one. No room for a low energy day today though, or any day this month. Hachi machi. We just went for a walk together and I forgot to get footage of it. So how was it? A little warm, but it was good. Now I'm ready for a nap. Boing! 4.10 right now, p.m. So I just did like 9,000 steps. I got about 9,000 more to do. Doing them in just two big chunks in the evening kind of makes it like a chore. China's at a meeting, Ada's sleeping, so I can't go out and walk. But I found a great solution. Play guitar while I walk. Step, 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 step. Every day, every day. Walk, 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 p.m. I got started late again. I want to not do it. My legs are tired. Mental capacity is tired. I think from all the editing I've been doing, I'm walking to meet my family. Found my family. Looking forward to walking this off later. What? This mom and dad? Now on the walk home, I actually feel fine. I think I just needed a rest and some food. Legs feeling a bit numb. Oopsies. 920 and I got like 2,000 steps left. Feels long today. I'm walking really fast to get it over with. Gotta walk the other way, I'm busy. Boing! Good boing. Did I inspire you to walk? Yes. How did it feel? Good. What podcast did you listen to? To this new hit podcast called oh. Two Guys Talking About Lettuce. It's 6.35 p.m. I attended my daughter's swimming lessons this morning because I thought family's more important than walking. I'm proud of that decision. We had friends over for dinner and I thought friends are more important than walking. I'm proud of that decision as well. I also got to do bedtime with my daughter and it's raining out. So I'm at about 15,000 steps now after being out here for like an hour. I'm kind of enjoying it. This walking thing, I don't know. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give it more of a try. Boom itty boom boom boom. Walking along a nice nature trail and turkeys. Walking the other way. Shla boink. This is where the turkeys were yesterday. Walking around in a circle in my house has become completely normal. I have normalized it. We did it again. Good job, us. You and me. So I'm in the middle of the city, come across this path into woods that I have never seen before. It gets darker and darker, lots of trees. And then I see a deer bounding away. I have no idea where 
this is leading me. Maybe I'll find a piece of the Triforce or what's that called an Elden Ring? Not a campfire, but like, you know, the thing. I'm just ending up on the path I was on a while ago. Life's a circle. 20,000 steps. Today and yesterday, I did most of my steps in one big chunk. It's less fun. <sighs> Can you make a sound? That's great. This was getting real old real fast. And I grabbed this guitar and noodled around on it and it went by like nothing. Now I almost have 20,000. It was like time travel. Doing stuff makes time better. Last day. I'm out on goot and go goose infested path as it's now known forever. We will see if I encounter a goose. Maybe I will walk past it. Oh my God, oh my God. The geese and their young. If ever there were a time to face my enemy, it's right now. Nope, going away, bye. Currently weigh 172, so I've lost six pounds. This is probably the easiest it's ever been to lose weight. I'm not gonna be able to keep this up every day. Hopefully I can do more walking than I was doing before. ka -ching! 30 days of 20,000 steps, woo! I'd like to say that I've continued walking 20,000 steps a day, and I totally haven't. Nope, I've been trying to get about 10,000 a day, haven't been getting it every day, but that's no big deal. But I have continued counting calories and I'm still losing weight. I'm down to 167 now. And I'm much more likely to just take walking breaks every now and then and it's been great. Walking is awesome and now I'm doing it more often because of this challenge. So this was a good thing. Yay! Now, to the other angle for variety's sake. And now it's time to factor in the sponsor of this video. <laughs> you don't get that yet. Factor, thank you for sponsoring this video. Now you get it. And thank you for your delicious, nutritious, fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals delivered right to my doorstep. I assume they'll deliver to your doorstep as well. It wouldn't be a very good business model if it was just to my doorstep. They arrive pre-prepared, but they take two minutes to heat up. What are you gonna do, watch a TikTok? I am joking, that's a ridiculously short amount of time. Helps me save a lot of time getting a meal together when I'm spending three plus hours walking each day and two, eating freshly prepared meals is a confusing quagmire, which I shall now call quag fusing, when it comes to knowing how many calories you're eating. But with Factor, you get fresh nummy nummy vittles and it has a calorie count on it. No longer quag fusing. The calorie count wasn't even that high and I felt sated, satisfied, and sat in my chair confident that I had a great meal. I'm trying to think of something else that started with SAT. But you don't have to ace your SATs for wholesome eating. Factor makes it simple. Their menus are updated weekly and they include 27 plus meals. Choose your favorite meals or let Factor or craft your order based on your preferences. And there's more than 33 add-on options. Like proteins, energy bites, veggie sides, desserts. Mmm, desserts. <laughs> that probably makes them less appetizing. We got smoothies. I'm drinking one of them right now. Mmm. <clears throat> no, I'm getting it off my mustache. What do you think of Factor? I really enjoyed it. Am I supposed to look at you? Or is this like one of those off-screen documentary things? I don't know. Be as real as possible. I had the turkey chili, taco bowl, Italian sausage, pepperonata thing. And those were all spectacular. I didn't get to try any of the other ones because you ate them. So you were you're supposed to eat all of them? I wanted to eat all of them. Okay, one downside of Factor. It'll probably lead to divorce. Yeah, we're definitely getting divorced. I talked about HelloFresh before, and now they own Factor. And with them together, there's a wider array of meal plans to choose from. I enjoy switching between these brands, and now you can enjoy both brands with a discount. Head to go.factor75.com slash wheezy120 and use code wheezy120 for $120 off. That's go.factor75.com slash wheezy120 for $120 off. Thank you, Factor, and thank you for watching. Hopefully this has inspired you to maybe walk more or maybe just watch more. As long as it starts with a WA, I'm fine with it. If you'd like to watch more, here's some links and you can support me on Patreon right there. Patreon supporters got to see this video before you did. So unless you're a Patreon supporter, then then you then you're you. And you can click there to subscribe. Thank you. Time for a walk. Well, I'm gonna pretend to walk away and now I'm gonna turn the camera off and then go for an actual walk. <laughs>